Good morning, ASM. Hey, Uncle Richie here. It's Fist Pump Friday. Woo! Recognizing people who showed professionalism, respect, involvement, diversity, and excellence. Hey, and oh, look at this. It looks like teachers are getting nominated. Pfft, why are teachers? What, what, what do we need to be nominated for? Hey, well, the first one is David Richmond. Oh, look at, look at that. Jeez. God, I got to lose some weight over the summer. Hey, nominated by Miss Nathan. Thank you, Miss Nathan. Hey, next we have Keith Ward, nominated by Miss Carucci. Look at, oh, we got pictures too. We got Sarah Brefka, nominated by Mrs. Renson. Woo! We got Natalie Shields, nominated by Rachel Pethis. Woo! We got Ronan Gerber, nominated by Miss Corbett. Woo! We got Caitlin Burns, nominated by Mrs. Lorenzo. Woo! Emily Ferns, nominated by uh, Mrs. Fulner. Woo! And Sarah Golotsky, nominated by Mrs. Kekamo. Nice job. Hey, keep up the psych. We're almost done. Finish line is near. Stay cool. Richie loves you. Good morning, ESM. I'm Josh. And I'm Katie. Um, today we're talking about our tea show since it's National Tea Day. More on this after news and announcements. New York Gov. Kathy Huchel has signed into law to help reduce gun violence after mass shootings in Buffalo in Uvalde, Texas, the actions represent one of the biggest overhauls of New York's gun laws since the landmark of SAFE Act of 2013, enacted some of the strictest laws regarding firearms in any state in the nation. New York lawmakers voted for the changes less than a month after a pair of mass shootings involving 18-year-old gunmen who used semi-automatic rifles. The first shooting killed 10 black people in what law enforcement authorities called the racist attack in Buffalo grocery store on May 14th. Ten days later, the Texas shooting took a, the lives of 19 children and two teachers. A brief summary of the impact it will have by requiring a permit for new purchases of semi-automatic rifles, New York lawmakers effectively raised the minimum age for buying from 18 to 21. That's because existing New York State laws require New Yorkers to be 21 and older to obtain a firearm license. Two people were rescued after getting stuck in a chocolate tank at the <laughs> MS factory in Pennsylvania. The two worked at the factory, and they fell around 1.51 p.m. yesterday. They were uninjured but could not escape the vat of chocolate by themselves. First responders were able to rescue them, and the <laughs> workers will be taken in for further questioning. This is Augustus Gloop situation. It makes us all want to check our M&Ms and the fingernails and hair over the next couple of weeks. The House Selected Committee investigating January 6 Capitol riots after being uncovering their findings on live TV. Committee Chairman Benny Thompson, Republican Vice Chair Rep Liz Cheney of Wyoming, said they were uncover their evidence that former President Donald Trump lost the election over the next couple of weeks. They said Trump was at the center of coordinated efforts to revise President Joe Biden's 2020 election victory and provoke the violence at the Capitol that day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, do you want to say thank you to your former teacher? Did you miss your favorite teacher at your senior elementary walk? Write a fist bump and we will send it to them. Show your Spartan pride, professionalism, respect, involvement, and diversity and excellence. The morning wait room will be closed on 6:13 because of fac faculty meeting. So our tea today, so our show today was basically on tea, and because it's National Tea Day, tea was discovered in 2737 BC. The discovery was when a Chinese emperor Shen Nong was sitting beneath a tree while his servant boiled drinking water. When some leaves <laughs> fell from the tree and blew into the water, that was the discovery of the herbal drink. Teas can also boost your immune system, fight off inflammation, and even ward off cancer and heart disease, while some brews providing more health advantages than others. 
There is plenty of evidence that regular drinking tea can have a lasting impact on your health. It's also a great beverage to sit down and with some friends and sip and chat. Let's see if we're going to have good weather this weekend for some good tea drinking. So the past couple of days we've been getting more activity on this weather map, but when I'm here there seems to be nothing because there are no expected rain showers today. But today will be nice and there's not going to be much rain, only if there's any it's going to be a little bit. Today's going to have a high of 73 and a low of 55 and Saturday and Sunday are going to be very similar with a chance for some rain because why wouldn't there be rain? Monday, when we come back, is going to be a high of 74 and a low of 56. So there's going to be no rain, but just expect a little rain over the weekend. But uh, for that, everything seems pretty warm, but not too cold. With that, I'm Grayson. with your brother. Josh, what's your favorite tea flavor? Well, mine would have to be iced tea. What about you, Katie? Mine would have to be chamomile. Well, we all have our opinions. My favorite thing about tea is it doesn't give you the effects as coffee does. Yeah, we can really all... Members of the boys and girls track team will be competing at the state championship meet at CNS at 3. The Tampa Bay Lightning have won three straight games in the Eastern Conference Finals to take a 3-2 lead in the series after a game 5-3-1 win over the New York Rangers. The Oklahoma Sooner softball team capped off a 59-3 season with a national championship, beating Texas 10-5 and winning the program's sixth national title. And I'm Tanner with these sports. I'll agree on that. We, we all wanted to thank you for watching the Josh and Katie show. This will be our last show of the year, and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.